Alright, hello and welcome back to Katawa Shoujo. Just as I promised, I am again recording it today. I just finished recording some Star Wars The Force Unleashed. So, hold on, I need to... No, I don't need to do it with that scene. Alright, so last time we were left standing in a misty shower room with Kenji... Kenji's shadow sitting in front of us. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, let's get on with this. And by this I mean Kenji's scene. He's always got some weird shit happening, so let's see what he's going. Out of nowhere, a shadow appears within the mist, looming and radiating malicious intent. It bursts through the fog. So, look at that, they're nice enough to put a leaf in front of him. What are you doing here? What the hell? You scared me. What's your problem? I should be asking you that. I've been looking for you all over the place, man. What do you mean, all over the place? I wanted to ask if he's been looking for me like that. Stark naked, but I hold my tongue. I finally realized I'm naked still, too. And quickly hold up my shirt in front of me, but Kenji doesn't seem to notice a thing. His glasses are fogged up. And then why? But then why doesn't he wipe them off? And is his vision so bad it doesn't... It's like his perception seeing through the fog? You know, your room, and, uh, that's it, man. I mean, I still had to get up, though, whatever, I'm not important. It's not important. Can I borrow some money? He puts on an innocent face and looks away, trying very hard to look very casual. Doesn't work. As his transparent, but some, but as well, window pane glass eyes. <sighs> talking very, talking naturally like this, wearing nothing, feels awkward. Actually, somehow it's very awkward to be naked in front of someone who, when they can't see me being naked, to say nothing of the fact that he's naked as well. I tried to brush the feeling off with little success. Money, uh, sure. Also, wait, why do you need it? Uh, can't you just give it to me because I had the good will not to run through your pockets while you're in the shower? I could have, but I exerted resistance. I ex exercised resistance, and in the end, isn't it the thought that counts? Come on, be a pal. This makes no sense. If he's that, if it's the thought that counts, I should withhold payment. Since his thoughts were so clearly impure, and his intentions are probably even more sinister since he can't tell me what they are, I say as much to him. I'm offended, man, but it's not. But, th but if that is your game, then fine. I guess I have no choice. I went to order a pizza, and I already have most of the co cost of the pizza. I need your help for the rest. I get some of the pizza too, right? No. Are you serious? Yeah, I would give you some, but you have class. You don't have time to eat a pizza. What about you? I'm not going to class. I have to wait for the pizza and pay the guy, and then eat it. Not easy, you have to obtain the pizza stealthily. If you don't, someone will see you and the pizza, and they will ask for a slice. It's a hard world out there, everyone wants a piece. Then you left pizza-less in an unforgiving world. It's happened before, and that's how I know. Every day I plan my vengeance, and so that when people who wrong me in order wrong me order pizza, I will be there, ever vigilant. Kenji strikes a dramatic pose, completely without irony. But yeah, I only need like 400 yen. Please, you're my only hope. I can't go outside and buy my own pizza. It's too far. I try not to go out unless it's absolutely necessary. Let me tell you what happened the last time I went out without carefully planning it in advance. I was outside. I can't remember what I was doing. Something. Standing? Maybe wondering how I got there. And then, out of nowhere, it happened. Like a flash of lightning. Splitting the sky, like how you split a sandwich into two equal pieces to make it more manageable to hold and eat. A bird crapped on my head. It was the second shocking moment of my life. Well, it was the first. He ignores me and keeps going. I want to grab him and shake him. Is he trying to get... Is he trying to keep the momentum? I'll go with that, even if it's more likely he just didn't hear me. It was like in the opening of some kind of anime show. You know, how the... <laughs> There is always a part where the main dude is fighting his rival and they just they fly at each other and clash swords and there's like big dramatic color auras and zoom. 
Sounds like something Kutra would make. Ha! <laughs> it's like that, but with poop. Okay. So yeah, I need some money. Please? Don't leave me hanging, man. I only need, like, a thousand yen. I thought it was four hundred. Okay. What? I'll pay you back, I swear. You better. That's how... That's what it means to borrow stuff. I don't know when I'll be able to pay you back. You have one week. Ah, fuck. Kenji winches and makes a noise like a dying crow. A particularly disturbing fact, given that his baton is conducting freely. Ah, oh, that's not cool. Why are you looking down there, dude? You're not supposed to be so tight-assed about money between brothers in arms. Men... Man... Men have it bad enough as it is. Did you know that male porn stars only make about half of what female porn stars make? That doesn't mean anything unless you're a porn star. So maybe I am a... Oh, fuck. On the side, struggling to make and meet as I fight the fem I can't even spot your crumbs, you bastard. Nobody understands me. Wouldn't feminists be against pornography in the first place? It's feminist agenda and stuff again. This stuff is important. I can see that you don't give a shit and this is serious here. Feminists are a dangerous enemy. Make no mistake. You take them lightly and you'll wake up in the morning with your knife with a knife in your back met. Bam! Out of nowhere. How do you wake up in the morning if someone stabbed you in your sleep? Women are terrible at stabbing things. I thought you just said, don't take them lightly. Well, I don't mean take them lightly for big things. Eventually, they're not a threat. Evidently, they're not a threat, but if there was some kind of war, like a big war, but with men on one side and the feminist forces on the other, it would be pretty ugly. And that day will come, and when the feminists come out of their central... <laughs> Central top secret worldwide feminist headquarters and say it's on now, motherfuckers. You're being ridiculous. There's no big worldwide feminist headquarters building, it. and where would they even hide that? I mean, it has to be so massive you couldn't hide that on the Earth. Someone would notice a big fortress with women only in it. Who said it was on Earth? And here we come. Turn away from Kenji and start practicing frowning faces in the mirror so that I can figure out what kind of frown will best express my emotion. He can't see me from that distance anyway, which unfortunately means that he just keeps on ranting without any regard to sense of sense or sensibility. Yeah, there is a big, there is a war going on, a war not many know about, but it's a great one that will one day boil over <laughs> and encompass all of the world, and then we will have to pick sides. We will have to make a stand. In fact, it's happening right now. Imagine it, the bloody battlefield, a, victor a vicious conflict without end. I almost gave up when I thought the cause was silly, when I grew tired of the bleakness of our fight. When I mistook the time, the power went out for the feminists' reign and brought the end was near. But then I realized if I gave up, it would all be over, and I was like, whoa, and I knew I had to get serious, because I'm the last sane man in an insane world. It's about duty. Must be a pretty crappy moment if it all hinges on one naked guy ranting in a bathroom to another at another naked guy. So can I have the money? <laughs> He's blocking the way out. It's getting cold because I'm still naked and I want to go to class. So I agree to spot him the money. Awesome. Thanks, dude. We go. We'll go bowling later on. Bowling? Yeah, it's the ultimate spot. There are almost no women bowlers either. Make it almost the manliest spot. Ha! Should I wear my pink <laughs> bowling skirt with matching shoes or a pastel green with flower accents? There are bowling clothes. Maybe. Anyway, you better pay me back. I can pay you back in stuff, right? I don't have the time to ask him to elaborate on what that means. I don't know, I have to get to class and you're kind of in the way. Oh, sorry, yeah, I don't want to hold you up and I have some stuff to do myself and the time has come. Time has come for what? I just like saying that. Okay, now the time has really come. For what? I have to use the bathroom. Get out of it. I was just going to, and what does that mean? It's a big bathroom. So, I have to be alone. I can't go. The pressure. Okay, uh, if someone else came in... Da -da -da. I'll think of something. I gave him my practice frown, and it looked really kind of silly reflected in the glass. He either makes notice or doesn't see it. Anyway, so I get dressed, run back to my room, feeling as though an eternity has passed since I woke up. 
Oh my god. This is this is time that that is time I will never get back. I'll get him for this somehow. But right now I have to get to class. I'm the first person to class today, although I think I'm a little too early. Then again, sitting alone here for 20 minutes sure beats having to suffer that time with Kenji.